I want to start off this video by saying happy birthday to my brother. He is 14 today. And yeah, we just got back, well, we just finished eating pie for his birthday. And we got back from the restaurant that we went to dinner with, I don't know, a little while ago. So. I will start off with the questions today. Um, there weren't that many today. Christina asked, how do you help your family understand when you're not feeling well? Um, I'm very lucky in that department because my family's pretty understanding about like when I'm not feeling well. The only thing that they're not real understanding about is that I need a lot of sleep and my dad likes to try to keep me on sleep patterns and I'm like, hey, it's my day off, I want to sleep in. Um, <laughs> so I just, I, dealing with that, I just, I just ignore what he wants me to do and I sleep anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, like I, like Emily said, I'm sorry I don't have very good advice to give you. Um, yeah. Um, Colleen, you talked about how mornings suck for you. They completely suck for me, too. I hate mornings. I, I have a hard time getting up, and I don't feel good in the mornings, and I'm just like, ah. Me, in the mornings as well, it's not a pretty sight. And you said that you hate winter slash cold slash snow um i completely agree with that as well i really hate it um that's why i'm moving to california when i'm done with high school <laughs> um and she asked what is the lowest your blood pressure has ever been um like emily said i don't have an exact number but i want to say it was somewhere like i don't know maybe like 90 over 60 or something Come on in. My parents just came in. I was recording. Hmm. Um, so as I was saying, I think it was like maybe 90 over 60 or something like that. I honestly don't know. Um, so that's, I, I get really dizzy, like, and I feel really lightheaded, so I assume it might be lower than that sometimes, but I don't know. I have a lot of sodium in my diet, so, um, it's not like, I don't know, I don't think my blood pressure is very low a lot. Like, when I first got sick, I'm sure it was, but not right now. Um, Emily, just want to say congrats on working seven hours. That's really awesome. I wish I could work for seven hours because that would be good money. But I'm really proud of you for doing that, and especially for working with two Down syndrome kids. Like, I don't know if I would have the patience for that. Um... So, I don't know, that that's really cool that you were able to do that, and like I said, I'm really proud of you. Um, and you were talking about how your mom doesn't want you to go to college far away. My mom's the same way, and so is my neurologist. They're like, no, don't go far away, because you're going to need stuff. I'm like, not happening, sorry. Um, so, and you're, <laughs> I think it's hilarious that you love high school. Um, I don't know, the reason I hate high school, I mean, I don't know, I hate being stressed out. I'm not like you, where you enjoy being busy and constantly doing stuff. I don't like that. I like just doing nothing, quite honestly. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but um, I don't know. That's that's just the truth about me. I'm, plus, I'm not really like people person. Like I like relationships over the internet much better than, I don't know, in real life. Like That sounds bad, but I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I like people, well, I like my friends in real life, but anybody else, I don't like them. <laughs> I'm such, I think I'm such a horrible person sometimes. And she asked, do you take any natural medication? Um, the only thing I really do is I'll take ginger sometimes when I'm, let's see, let's see if I can find the thingy. And it's that is my room. 
Well, they're not by me right now, but I take these, um, they're like ginger chews, and they help with nausea, and I also do peppermint oil on my wrists when I'm feeling nauseous. Um, and I don't know, I don't really like take it, but I always incorporate a lot of sodium into my diet, so that's really all. Um, and that was all the questions. Uh, I hope, I hope everything, everybody's doing okay who didn't post, Stacy and Lauren and... Um, Abby and Emma, of course, um, we miss you all, or especially Emma, I'm really sorry, I'm really out of it right now, <laughs> um, so I guess my question this week is, um, since I've been doing a lot of school-related questions, I figured I'd get off that topic, and I feel like this question's already been asked, but I don't even, I don't know anymore, um, so what is your favorite holiday, um, Mine's not really a holiday, per se, but in my household it is, because I make it one. Um, but my favorite holiday is my birthday. My birthday is my favorite day of the year, because I just, I feel like, you know, I'm like queen for the day, and it, it's really awesome. Except I hate doing homework on my birthday, because last year I had my birthday on Monday, and this year I have my birthday on Tuesday, December 14th. Um... So, yeah, but I'm really excited about it, and people, like, the teachers always say that November and December go by so fast because we have so many breaks, and honestly, it goes by so slow for me because I'm anticipating my birthday and Christmas and all that stuff, and I don't know, it just, <clears throat> it goes so slow. I'm like, ah, I want it to be my birthday already, but my mom's birthday is in nine days, um, yep, today's, the 28th is my brother's, and then the 6th is my mom's, so they are pretty close, my, <laughs> I was talking to my mom today, and, um, I was like, we were talking about how close their birthdays are, and she's like, yeah, it was a great birthday present, and I thought she was gonna say to have my brother, but then she goes, it was a great birthday present to not be pregnant anymore, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's such a nice thing to say, mom. Um, anyway, so my week, let's see, Friday, I tried to go see Paranormal Activity with my friends, but, um, that didn't happen because I am 16, and I didn't have, you know, I didn't know it was R until we got to the theater, um, so that was fun, uh, the guy was checking ARDs, and he was checking my friends who are both 17, he, was, he checked theirs first, and I was just like, no, I'm not going to, like, try to trick him and be like, here's my ID, you know. So I said, I'm I'm not 17. And he's like, well, you can get your dad or you can get your parents to sign a permission slip, and then you can go see it. So I call my parents, and my dad says no, and I'm really upset because, like, I really wanted to go see this movie. Um, and... So then we drove around for a little while, and then I started to not feel good. So I'm like, can you guys take me home? So I went home. They ended up seeing it without me, but which I was glad about because I felt really bad, like, that I was making them not see it. So that was good. Um, and then my dad told me later. He was like, yeah, um, the only reason I didn't want you to go see it, or I didn't let you go see it, is because I didn't want to drive down there. I'm like, seriously? It just really irked me. Um... Saturday, I don't really think I, oh, um, I did do something, I went to see Despicable Me again for the second time with my dad's friend and his daughters, um, that was fun, uh, and then we got McDonald's afterwards, I got french fries, and, uh, they got hamburgers, obviously I wouldn't be having any, um, and then Sunday I had to go to another Catholic service, um, this one, nobody, nobody glared or yelled at me, so that was good, um, yeah, I, it was, like, communion, I didn't, I didn't do it, just because, um, I don't know, I don't feel right doing that at other, like, especially at other denominations, services, um, but it was for my, uh, great aunt and uncle, it was their 50th anniversary, so then we were at this place afterwards, we went to, I don't remember what it was called, but it was, like, a buffet, and it was really good food, um, and, I tried a, usually I'm not a tomato juice person, but I tried um, a Virgin Mary, which is a Bloody Mary without the alcohol. 
for the first time, and it was really good. I was really surprised. I used to hate tomato juice, but now I love it. So, yeah. And now, of course, I'm going to be craving a V8, of course. Um, so, yeah, and then we had to leave early from that because I had a college fair to go to. And that was that was fun. I liked I liked going to see all the colleges and stuff. Um, let's see. And then Monday I had an orchestra concert. Um, and that actually went pretty well. Uh, I did videotape both songs, so they are here and here. So if you want to go check them out, well, actually, you should go check them out because that would be awesome. So, yeah, we played the theme from Godfather um, and some like some of the soundtrack songs from Gladiator. So, yeah, I, <laughs> there's this one part, you guys, like, if you listen closely, you can tell, but the violins just, ev like, everybody actually just stops playing because it, uh, it was really bad <laughs> because it's a really hard part, and, yeah, so we all just kind of failed, but then we all got back into sync and we started playing it again. So, yeah, that was... That wasn't bad. I was very surprised. Um, let's see. Tuesday, nothing special. School. Um, and then, let's see. We have a five-day weekend, so I had off yesterday, today, tomorrow, and then, of course, the weekend. So that's really awesome. It's a much-needed break, and I'm really happy that um, I get to have this weekend off. So, yeah. Yesterday, I didn't do anything. I just I slept, and then I went to group. Um, and today, like I said, was my brother's birthday, um, once again, gave him, got, my mom got me up so I could give him his present, and then I went back to sleep, I was like, Psh, I'm going back to sleep, and then, like I said, uh, let's see, me and my mom went to the bank, and then to Sally Beauty Supply, because I need to re-dye my hair, so hopefully I will be doing that probably tomorrow, um, and let's see, um, and then we did a few other things, but I have another question I just thought of, um, what are you doing for Halloween? Are you, are you not going to, I'm going trick-or-treating, um, and me and my friends were going as a Snuggie cult, um, we thought of this idea last year because we thought it would be hilarious if we were all just walking around, we were originally going to do, like, all dark blue Snuggies because that just make us look like a cult, but, um, it's, you know, we're doing a contest, actually, to see who has the craziest Snuggie. Um, and don't tell anybody, but I'm going to be going as Kesha in a Snuggie. So I'm <laughs> after I finish with this video, I'm going to look up some Kesha makeup tutorials on YouTube to see what I can do. I'm so excited about it. Um, let's see. And that's that's about it, I guess. So I hope be well, everybody. And you know what? I'm going to end... Let's see. I love you all. And fair winds, YouTube. If you know where that's from, you're awesome.